Hello friends and fellow collectors, thanks for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. Uh, really excited to bring a, another Diecast Masters product review to you guys today. You're going to get, uh, well, six for the price of one. So this is the Mass Market 187 or HO scale Caterpillar Diecast Models assortment. So there, there will be five different vehicles in here and then one duplicate. Uh, again, these are not going to have the same level of detail or functionality that you would come to expect from the Highline series models. So bear that in mind as we go through that. Uh, but again, these are catered towards the, the mass market. So getting Diecast Masters out into retail stores, for example, some retail stores uh, and chains, is really, really cool to see. It's amazing how far this company has come in the less than 10 years that they've had the, the cat license. So... Enough talking, let's get straight into it. As you can see, it will come in a box like this. Six pieces, 84400A, the item number. I've already opened this up to inspect it prior to the video. So let's just pop it open and see what's inside. All right, first off, we have the Cat D5M track type tractor. And I really do, we'll, we'll only go over the packaging on this one because it's the same on all the other ones. Uh, but I really like the construction scene or the skyline in the background. I think that is super cool. Uh, very high visibility packaging. So if you're walking down, um, dare I say, the toy aisle in some places and you see this hanging on the pegs, this is immediately, it's so vibrant, it's going to stand out. It's eye-catching, uh, which is what you want to have in uh, in marketing or if you're selling anything. So really good job there uh you'll also notice that these are age rated for eight and up which is a little bit lower than the adult collectible scale models by diecast master so uh, again trying to push and get into a, a younger demographic with these here's the back here's all five of the different ones uh now again longtime collectors will note that these look very very similar to the old norscott models uh, and that's because that's exactly what they are they, they are the exact same tooling um, but they have been reworked to include the DM name on the base, etc., etc. Here's the barcode if you need that. And the cat license square on the top right. All right, that's the dozer. Let's keep going. Here is the 950G wheel loader. And we will open one of each of these, just as we would for any other review. But I just want to get through the unboxing and the packaging real quick. Next up, we have the 315CL, and that is the duplicate, by the way, if you're wondering. In fact, here's the other one. So two 315Ls, CLs. All right, we have a 163H VHP Plus motor grader. And then last out of the case, my personal favorite from the lot. We have the 627G auger scraper. You can see if you look down into the scraper portion, it has that auger uh, attachment in it. Kind of neat. All right, that is the unboxing. Let's take a break momentarily. When we'll come back, when we come back, rather, got ahead of myself, we'll have one of each of these on the spin table, and we'll take a much closer look. Welcome back, everyone, and thanks for sticking with me. So the first one we'll be taking a look at is the D5M. Now, several of these as well uh, do come with the, the tractor and the low boy sets, the assortment set 187 scale, so they are the same tooling. Uh, the 950, the loader, and the scraper do not as of now, but the rest you can get with the low boys if you want. Back to the D5. So the tracks are stationary. There's what the base looks like. And the functionality part of this is that the blade will move left to right. It does not have any horizontal or vertical movement. Uh, but the detail on this, honestly, is not bad for what these are being offered at. So the main body of the vehicle, so this piece, that's die cast. The blade is actually die cast. The base and tracks of the vehicle, those are plastic. So we'll let that rotate around maybe once more. As we move on to the next one, which will be the 950G wheel loader. And again, it bears repeating that if you've been around for a while, you will recognize these from the Norscott days. So it's really cool that these have been kind of reintroduced to a new generation of collectors. Uh, and again, for the price point that they are being offered at, um, I think they'll be well received by most people. So this is the wheel loader. Your metal content on this would be the body of the vehicle, the back of the vehicle, 
The loader arm and bucket, that is plastic. And the functionality, as you can see, is a very limited range of articulation, but at least there is some. And then you have the ability for the loader arms to raise and lower. But in terms of detail on here, I like the fact that they still got the handrails, uh, the exhaust, the air cleaner, even some of the casted in details on the back are highlighted with paint. Uh, the cylinder here is highlighted with some paint. And then obviously the sticker decal work, really, really good on these. So that is the 950. Let's take a look at the scraper, excuse me, the grater, the 163H grater. As for your metal content on here, the base of the vehicle, like the front portion, the back portion, that's die cast. Um, the cab is plastic. The circle mold, everything in everything in here, the blade, circle mold board, all that is plastic. The ripper is plastic. Again, if you want to see the base of what this one looks like. Working function on here includes articulation and the fact that you can spin the blade around pretty well. The ripper is fixed in the down position. But you guys let me know down in the comment section below what you think of these so far. Again, for what they're being offered price-wise, I can't emphasize this enough. Uh, I believe these are excellent value. And anything a company can do to expand their footprint is obviously a good move. So I hope that this will open up a lot of new eyes to our hobby. All right, we have two more left to take a look at. First up is the 315 CL excavator. So again, the body is die cast. The boom stick and bucket, those are die cast. The base of the vehicle with the tracks is plastic. Uh, working functions include the car body can spin around. And the boom and stick can raise and lower. The bucket, however, is fixed. So the bucket has no curl forward or backward. I do like, again, the small details on this really pop out, even in these mass market castings, including the venting on top, the hydraulic cylinder jackets and the ram, and the, uh, as well as the access stair safety railing. All right, four down, one to go, and I did leave my personal favorite for last. So this is the 627G auger scraper. It differs from a traditional pan scraper because it has this auger to disperse the material in its hopper or in its scraper bowl. Um, the cab portion or the tractor part of the wheel tractor scraper, this is die cast. The body is plastic. The base is plastic. And obviously the wheels are plastic as well. Uh, the scraper does not raise or lower, and the auger doesn't turn. However, we do have a pretty decent range of articulation across the gooseneck joint. Uh, as for casting details, you can see how there are still mirrors, railings. Uh, as it spins around to the front, you'll notice the headlights, which look really good. And uh, this one's heavy, so it wants to go... It's in a hurry to go to the job site. Um, but overall, I think that DM did great with these. I've said it a few times already. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. Again, these first started appearing at places like Tractor Supply and Menards last fall. Now they're going to be available not only to the hobby market and cat dealers, uh, but also to some other mass market retailers. So you'll get a good chance to pick one of these up. They won't be difficult to, uh, to find. Thank you so much for watching. Check out your screen right now for some other suggested links of similar videos. And until next time, be well. I'll see you in the next review.